Good afternoon, family. This is Miss Norma. Amen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Amen. Um, just a few updates. Well, first I want to say welcome to our new subscribers. I pray that you will be blessed being here. I ask politely, but if you are a prayer warrior, feel free to join us. Uh, Summer praying at 7 a.m., I mean 12 a.m., that's the second time I said that, and 12 p.m., or if you want to do 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., or whatever time is convenient and good for you, uh, just pray for um, our presence here on YouTube, pray for those who are comfortable sharing their prayer requests, and um, I've been thinking about our prayer list and thinking about maybe designating um, a specific um, prayer focus, you know, every day of the week. And um, so let me know what you think about that. But the goal is to pray for our time here um, in YouTube and in cyberspace and on, on my YouTube channel. So thank you, family, again. Um, just happy, happy, happy to be here. I will, um, I'll give an update on Pastor Williams. He is coming right along. Those of you that have praying, his wife thanks you for uh, the prayers. And um, others, I still have an um, brother. Um, oh, gosh. Um, mm. One of the brothers on here who asked for prayer for uh, financial uh, blessing and uh, physical healing. Um, I can't recall your name right now, but I apologize. It'll probably come back to me by the time I get finished. And um, little Annie, um, her mom reported on, I believe it was yesterday, that she was going back into the hospital. No, which would have been... Um, I might have been on Sunday. Her mom reported that she was going back in the hospital and that she would be in there for a week. So that would include this time here. I'm gathering up until maybe Saturday, which would be the, um, mm, what's today? Is the fifth today. So five days from now would be, so the 12th, it would be the 12th that she would be in the hospital. So keep little Annie in prayer. And others like little Annie, little Annie is suffering from, um, she has neuroblastoma, which is a form of cancer. And I know that there are others that have other chronic illnesses and um, things like that going on. So let's remember to pray for them. Um, uh, people that are grieving. We have Dave that is grieving the loss of his son from well over a year ago, and he's been seeking to get uh, grief counseling, and um, his uh, work situation is not allowing him, uh, not wanting to cover the cost of him going. So keep uh, Dave in prayer. Um, and I praise the Lord myself for those of you who have been praying for me. Um, I had some medical challenges over the past couple of the months, but praise the Lord, on July 27th, um, I was um, informed that I did not have um, thyroid cancer, so I praise God for that. And um, some other challenges that are going on, and the Lord is um, walking me through those. I'm doing my best to be obedient. Um, so... Uh, you know, just prayer there, because sometimes when you have to make changes in your life, it can be quite challenging. So just in general, if you would like to share your prayer requests, um, and there was someone else who sent one out, brain acting up, but anyway, um, just pray for the prayer requests. And even family, if you speak it out while I am talking, the Lord hears it. And um, by his grace, um, and I love to do this, we throw out the blanket of prayer over our YouTube family and friends. And may the blessings come down or whatever your household needs. Amen. Or you personally. Or maybe you're praying for someone else. So whatever the course, the course the cause, I ask that we would remember just to pray for all of us who are here together in this virtual prayer, joining hands. Amen. Amen. So our reading for today, this is our reading for September the 1st. 
is called Observation from Estes Park. And our scripture lesson is Isaiah 53 and verse 6, and it says, And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Amen. Abba Father, bless us, Lord, as we enter into this reading. Lord, I pray that there is a blessing here, a lesson here, Lord, for each and every one of us, Lord, or maybe for the first time, someone thinking about you in this way. Continue to bless us and heal us and keep us, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Sorry about that. It says, when our son and his family came to visit us in Colorado, they wanted to spend some time in Estes Park, a mountain resort town. After a picnic lunch there, we started walking along the river. Unable to keep up with everyone, I decided to sit on the bench by the river, river and people watch. A very interesting activity in Estes Park. Earlier, from a distance, I had noticed a family with four children, two grade school age children and toddler twins in a double stroller. As I was sitting there, the family walked by and I could see them better. The twins were no longer in the stroller. The little boy was walking with his dad. I could now read his little shirt and it said, my first name is Trouble. My last name is Trouble. I had to laugh and was still smiling when his mom and twin sister walked past. I said, I saw your little boy's shirt and I thought it was funny. Yes, she responded, funny but so true. That shirt is perfect for him. We both laughed and she walked on. Well, I thought, I'm glad I don't wear a shirt advertising my negative traits. The Bible, however, does put on display the negative character traits of many people. Abraham, a friend of God, lied about his relationship with his wife, with his wife Sarah. Jacob lied and deceived his father to obtain the birthright blessing. Peter, after spending three years with Jesus, denied he knew him. Saul, later who became Paul, who was called Paul, persecuted Christians. David, a man after God's own heart, committed adultery and murder. But when, he, when confronted by the prophet Nathan, David readily admitted he had sinned. Without hesitation, Nathan said, the Lord has taken your sin away. We find that in 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 13. Instant forgiveness, just like that. Perhaps if we Christians wore a shirt like the little boy in Estes Park, it would say, my first name is Sinner, my last name is Forgiven. Author Ellen White wrote, Christ has borne the burden of our guilt. He will take the load from our weary shoulders. He will give us rest. Amen. Jesus even says that someday he will give us a new name, and that's in Isaiah 62 and 2. How special that will be. Amen. Our reading for today was written by Sharon Oster. Um, the comment by Ellen White was taken from the book, Ministry of Healing. Uh, it doesn't say what page. Oh, I'm sorry, page 71. It's a book called Ministry of Healing, page 71. Amen. So I'm just thankful for this right here. I thought about it, you know, the name that I would wear on my shirt. Um, I've seen a bumper sticker that says, um, Christians aren't perfect, just forgiven. But sometimes some of us who may not necessarily be Christian, but you might just be seeking God for the first time in your life. You may not understand um, what it is to be a follower of Christ and it's all new for you. I would encourage you 
um, to uh, just as if you would say to me, you know, Miss Norma or whoever you're talking to, I don't know Jesus or I don't know how to reach him or I don't know how to pray. I'm telling you family, I'm telling you friend, if you can say to me or anyone else that you don't know God and um, you don't know how to reach him, if you can say those words to me, you can speak those words up and out to the Father in faith. Um, even if you don't believe, there's a scripture that says, I believe, but help thou my unbelief. There is no reason for you not to be able to reach him. All you have to do is speak it, whether you believe it or not. But if you open up and you invite up here, the Lord, if you open the door and say, Lord, you know, help me to know you. Jesus, if you're real, help me to know you. I'm telling you that door will open up up here and you will begin a relationship with him so don't be fretful don't be afraid just like sometimes we just jump in the water when you want to go swimming and you know the water's cold but you want to get yourself wet so you can get used to it you got to take that same leap of faith when it comes down with Jesus Christ. I'm at 1105 family, and I'm going to cut this off right now. Blessings, blessings. Mwah. I love you. This is Miss Norma signing off, and by his grace, I will see you for our next reading. I love you, and have a wonderful day. Abba Father, bless my YouTube family and friends. Bless all of the subscribers that come in. Bless those who are solid in their walk with you, Lord. And also bless those, Abba Father, who this is new for them, Lord, but they are extending an invitation to you, Lord, and let them open their hearts, their mind to receive you. Open the door, just a little crack. Let the light come in. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, family. I'll see you later. This is Miss Norma. Blessing and healing to all of our land. Amen.